Rob Four rants about everything related to making money. Let's do this. So hey, it's Rob Four. It is 12.05 p.m. on Sunday. Uh, what I've done the last couple days is really take a step back. As you know, I joined on June 14th, started to promote, actively promote, Power Lead, System Lead, Lightning, all the things we have to promote. About five days later, actually on the 20th, is when we got our first sign up. So my results so far have been about, well, I just ran a solo ad. So right now we're about 500 leads, about $6,500 commissions paid, and our projected monthly income is about $1,200 a month now with about 250 of that coming from the team, the 10%, you know, the matching bonus, the 50% matching bonuses from the team. So we are seeing, you know, 20% of the team duplicating, bringing people in, whether that's from paid traffic, their warm market, whatever they're doing. About 20% are actually duplicating, about 80% have not signed up anybody yet. Um, that is par for course, because in the beginning, we were all pointing people into company provided pages. And one of the things we've talked about over the past week is billboard blindness. Uh, basically, if anybody sees an ad or a presentation or even a company name or anything like that, a few times, uh, then they've, they've already formed an opinion about it. You know, they've dismissed it or you know they've already formed an opinion and they're just not going to see it so quite often one of the things i don't like to do is really promote company provided pages because that's what the majority of people are doing which is means especially if you're doing paid advertising a lot of the people you're going to track in that you're actually paid to see it will go oh i've seen that before and some are rarely dismiss it so you're going to get less results, especially with paid advertising and everybody's promoting the same company pages. You'll always get less results promoting a non-branded or non-unique page. Uh, same, same thing if you're using company provided emails and they're not unique. Chances are you'll get a better response if you write unique emails. Again, assuming that you have the skill needed to write emails that will convert. All right, so in my first 30 days, as we've talked about, they have a complete plug and play system. So I followed the get started instructions, got a domain, set up, I actually got three domains, one for lead lightning, one for uh, the free lead system, which is free, lead lightning, $7 pays a $6 commission, one for power lead system, the whole eco structure there. People can join as customers, $30 a month, or as affiliates, $54 a month. You earn a 20% commission monthly either way. If they join as affiliates, you also earn a 50% matching bonus as they sign up customers and affiliates, right? And our goal, our long-term goal, the residual passive leveraged income goal, is to grow that monthly number, that $20 a month and the matching bonuses. We want to personally sign up and recruit, refer as many people front, front line personally as we can. Um, that will build up our personal $20 bills, that monthly residual income. And as they start to duplicate and build their business, we're building that 50% match which over time can get pretty, pretty big. So my goal over the next three to five years is to turn that monthly residual aspect of it into an annual million dollar a year business. So you're looking at $100,000 a month in the next three to five years. That's my personal goal. First 30 days had everything going to the company paid pages. Uh, most of our signups, most of you on this team right now, what I call our core group, actually came from my warm market. 
uh, whether it was from Facebook or however you found out I was getting involved in this. We connected, boom, here we are. And all of the upgrades have come from people in this group that I personally had a connection with before. Whether we've worked together before or not, but you know, or we finally we got on the same path, headed in the same direction. From the absolute cold market, which is what I consider solo ads, because they don't know me, they never heard of me. We were pointing them straight to the company page, and whatever the company page and the company email follow-up systems did, they did. None of those have actually connected with me personally, even though I send out a personal email and two private invites to this particular Facebook group. None of those from the solo ads have connected on this team site. Keep in mind, they were all sent to a company provided page. So why would they? I'm just a stranger. This guy that showed up go, hey, I'm your personal referral. Go join my private team training. But we've also talked about that's one of the one of the things we really need to bring to the table as soon as we can is at least a pre-sale page that introduces you and what they're getting ready to see. So ideally, we can increase that engagement. I'm getting ready to build out the funnel to do that, and it's going to take me some time. A week, two weeks, who knows? I don't know. In the meanwhile, since we've already passed that 30-day mark and have been able to measure, legitimately measure, that the company doesn't, the company provided pages don't do that great of a job of upselling people or, you know, retaining them. You know, if you get a few gold signups, you'll see they're really on that seven day free trial period and they might, might not make it past that. So we need a stronger, beefier system. My refer, uh, Frank, he's, he just built out his new system uh, as a refresher. He's been promoting PLS for a few years. He's the number one referrer or the number one income earner in PLS right now. Uh, the number one affiliate, whatever that means. And last year, he made $180,000 in commissions building PLS on the back end, meaning as an afterthought, to the people that had engaged with him or purchased a different product or service from Frank on the front end. Now he's built out a system where he's leading with this as a business on the front end. He's made that funnel available to everybody in power lead system and especially to me because I'm his direct referral which means you have access to it as well he's got this built out to upset remember this is the guy the number one affiliate this is the funnel he's using to build his business so it makes sense unless you've built your own to go use this one versus the company one, which my numbers have shown, don't do that great of a job. We don't know how this funnel will do, but I'm gonna bank on Frank because this is his business and he's making this his primary and this is what he is leading with at the moment. So, at least until I get my funnel done and replicated for the team, I'm gonna push everything into Frank's funnel. And I'll show you the funnel real quick so you can kind of decide, obviously they opt in. Right now he's got six to eight different splash pages. Uh, he shared with me that this particular one was converting about 45 to 50%. I just ran some solo traffic to it, 500 clicks, and got about a 40% opt-in, maybe a little higher, and got six or eight uh, goals, people taking the seven day free trial out of it as well. So, so far it's converting pretty good as far as getting them to sign up for their free trial. So obviously they would enter their email. You can set it up to receive a set of seven custom emails that Frank has already set up. They're already pre-written for you. You follow the instructions that's already done. He gives them a pre-sale video. It goes over to then show them, literally walks them through how to sign up and he encourages everybody 
to upgrade along the way and why they should do that. He gives them a link to the login, a link to the system setup once they've actually joined, and then he shares the share code and this funnel with everybody here. So you'll have the link down below, but you can click step two and watch this video. This button here gives you the share codes. So what I did is I set up my entire funnel to match this one. It basically looks like this. So that's what I've done over the last couple of days is we did try out the, the company provided stuff. I always like to do that first to go off the shelf. Does the company system work to make a profit? And it does in regards to getting leads, you know, the capture pages work really well and to convert those leads into um, seven day free trials beyond there, not so much that I can tell. So we certainly need some kind of personal branding, some kind of personal uh, guided uh, onboarding process. What do you do now that you got started to get the new guys vested in the system to start taking some action, getting some traffic leads, and ideally some seven day uh, trial signups or lead lightning sales, something like that. So I took my primary domain. I've uh, switched it all over to Frank's funnel. I'm using the Freedom Wealth funnel system. I'm currently using landing page four. I have it tied into his seven day follow up email series and I have the emails also being dropped off into my AWeber, but I'm not using AWeber to follow up. I'm letting Frank's system do what Frank's system does. He built this to create his own fortune, and right now I'm banking on Frank to optimize this and do whatever he does while I go, you know, kind of disappear from the scenes per se to go build out my own. So right now I'm just pushing everything new straight into Frank's system because he's got everything laid out. The onboarding process, the follow-up emails, the encouragements to upgrade, you know, the reminders to go check out the Wednesday train, the prospecting calls, the Thursday night trainings. He's got it all coded up. He's got over 120 people within the, the power lead system uh, ecostructure on his team and people even wider than his team now using this system. So because he's using all these custom pages, he can measure and track what's working, what's not working, make adjustments. And as he makes those adjustments and improvements, remember we, we make a mess that we can measure. He measures, assesses, improves, optimizes. It all happens automatically on the back end. So I set everything up. Um, now, I did set up personal subdomains for pages like uh, Getting Paid, which is the compensation plan. We've set that up. We've set up, let's go back to uh, the Hangouts, set up a Hangout page. So again, I created these little short uh, URLs or subdomains for the compensation plan, the, the Wednesday night live hangouts, the interview page or, you know, testimonial page. So we can send them a direct link there. Also set it up for a direct sign up page. So someone reaches out to you on Facebook, like I just had this morning, say, hey, I'm ready to sign up. Uh, send me your direct link. I don't need them to watch any videos. They've already made a decision. So I want a link where I can just know right off the top of my head, oh, sign up, dot, pureprofitsystems.com, boom. Somebody sends a note and says, hey, do you think Power Lead, you know, I watch your stuff, do you think Power Lead System would be right for me? And my standard answer would be, well, you know what, I don't know. But what I do know is these are my results and here's a, a page where people from, from all kinds of backgrounds whether they were newbies, you know, complete beginners, or people that have been around the block or two. And I sent them to interviews.peerprofitsystems.com, which is the whole interview page. So I created all those, got all those coded up into 
Frank's system as well. I did notice when I coated this one, I did it a little bogey, but I'll figure it out. So I coated all those up. Same thing for the training. Goes right to the training pages, obviously. And so that's all coated up, ready to go. So now for direct reach out purposes, we have subdomains that point to the compensation plan, the Wednesday hangout, uh, the interview page or testimonial page, sign up page, direct sign up, and Thursday night trainings. So that's more for you know direct linking, things like that. The system I have coded up right now to run my entire deal, whether it's off videos, you know, my video links are pureprofitsystems.com. Then it's all going into Frank's system. Then I wrote out every page of that system so I know where it's going. It's going to the pre-sale video. Then the sign up, then a button there goes to the sign up page. And it goes to the system setup where it gives everybody the share codes and the instructions to go replicate the system. Then it goes into the funnel setup. Uh, step three, how to get traffic. And that, that's where it's gonna ask to set up your Udemy affiliate code. So now think what happens if you decide to use this, this funnel like I'm using now, what will happen is if they decide to upgrade and go buy traffic, become an affiliate for Udemy, and you've done the same thing, they'll be clicking your Udemy link and you'll be getting that commission. So you'll be automatically coded to start earning multiple streams of income from one funnel. And I'm pretty sure later Frank will add GetResponse or AWeber or any tool he talks about that has an affiliate program. We'll, we'll have the opportunity to go and put our links and get credit when people take that action. The funnel that I set up will certainly have all of that coded in, which takes us to the next project for me, which is to go learn their GUI or user interface to go build out these custom replicated funnels. I don't know how to use their system. So that's my next learning this next week really will be to go figure out how the heck did Frank build this out and how can I go build out our own. Another thing that I did, you know, I'll just share this with you. Uh, we have some new people, so I'm kind of bringing everybody up to speed here. You know, we have this whole, you can go through the videos again, but we have this whole team rotator concept going on that I'm really going to feature in this new funnel that I'm creating. What I will probably do is make it where not everybody goes into the team rotator at gold. I haven't made a complete decision about this yet. Now you guys, obviously, if you're here listening to this video, right now you are part of our core group from this point forward literally i recoded my entire system all to go to the to the, the frank system so from that from this point it's just like going to a company page none of the new people will even know who i am they won't i'll do the same thing i'll welcome them over i'll invite them over to this group most of them will go who the heck are you and they won't engage. All the engagement will be through the, the Frank system and everything he's going, that got going there. And that's okay because I expect it to convert better, get people vested into what they just signed up for in a much better way than the company pages. So it kind of takes the pressure off you. If you go set that up, now you don't got to worry about anything. All the follow-up emails are set up, the training is set up, the encouragement to upgrade, why they want to do that is set up. It's all set up. It's plug and play simple. So now I know all the links I get from videos, from our rotators on the team rotator site, all of that is all being funneled to Frank. So I don't expect any new people from the cold market necessarily to be entered in this group because they've already proven not to engage. Now they'll be engaging in the Frank funnel and again, who the heck am I? So there's really a nice 
point here, kind of call it a line of demarcation, if you will, that from this point forward, everybody that I generate, every lead, sale, sign up, will, will be funneled through Frank's funnel. They won't necessarily know, know who I am, nor will they necessarily know this group even exists. So I may not even let them know that. And this may be the core group and it will remain this core group unless somebody from my warm market joins, then I may add them to this group. But then once we launch this new funnel, I'm thinking about not letting everybody into the rotator and only tr making that a trigger point when people upgrade to diamond, which if you think about it from the very beginning, they sign up as a free trial member, doesn't cost them anything, even though they pull out their credit card, they decide whether they want to become a customer or an affiliate. To become Diamond, and they can be either one, either one, but to become Diamond, they actually have to pay for that. So that would be the first purchase, and it would be $149, actually commission earned that you're going to get paid for, or they could split pay it, but either way, we actually got real money within that seven day window. So we have a much, much greater chance, I would say 80, 90, 95% chance, they're gonna stick as a new gold or as a new customer because they've proven to buy already. They actually paid money. So then it's worthwhile to actually, in my case, I'll have somebody, everybody that upgrades, I'll have them code them in the rotator. Somebody else will be doing that busy work for me once we get the entire system built out. The, if they just sign up within that seven day window or just stay active as gold, I don't know. So I may take that away and make that the huge bait piece for them to upgrade. And then maybe keep it the same. It's like once you do upgrade, then as long as you're active, you will always have one entry in the rotator and you'll have the bonus entry for three months and then continue the same. But the trigger point may be they have no entries until they actually upgrade. And then if we propagate that further on the team and we maintain that whole team concept, I think it'll be very beneficial for the growth of your team and commissions as well, because we'll make that same offer available to them. You know, everything that I do on the front end with the exception of personally dumping the advertising monies in, I want to make available to you. So you can offer, we, we structure it in such a way, we can offer the bon the same bonuses that I offer, you can primarily offer as well. So another thing that I did um, past couple days, just to reorganize everything. Again, the first 30 days, all company stuff, we made a mess, you know, 350 leads, you know, brought in 34 customers or affiliates, made about $6,400, brought our monthly income to projected about $1,250 a month right now. Um, I set up a, t uh, a new team rotator advertising URL. So what this means is everybody that's in the team rotator from this point forward, literally now that I have Frank's system all coded up, everything is congruent on my back end now, then every time somebody upgrades, whether it's to Diamond, Platinum, MTI, 20% of that upgrade, I am immediately going to go to either my uh, MLMleads.com or solo ads in Udemy and buy traffic. So, and that traffic, 20% of that upgrade is going to go right to the rotator. So two things important about that. One, whatever link you gave me for PLS, for the power lead system that's in the rotator, I highly, highly, highly encourage you to go change that out to Frank's funnel. You'll get better conversions. And the, the second, the next person upgrades, there's money being funneled into that rotator. So I would highly encourage you to go change out your power lead system funnel, whatever URL you gave me, go change it out into Frank's funnel. I haven't changed out free lead system or 
does the lead lightning, and I probably won't. They'll remain um, company funnels for now. I have no interest really in promoting those up front for now. They're part of my link set that I share on YouTube and everything else, but I have no interest in them. So that's all ready to go, and the very next upgrade I get, boom, we're buying traffic, sending that traffic right into the rotator. Which brings us to point number two, you want to start, if you have the budget to upgrade, upgrade now. Literally, we are going to start sending traffic now. And again, you may want to uh, change your PLS funnel. And also, if you have not filled out the contact information sheet that you'll find in the first a link in the first video, uh, the welcome video up there, you want to go do that. If there should be no reason to ever change your links that you're using in the rotator for now because you can just go change your funnel. You don't need to change the link, just change the funnel that that link is attached to. Um, if you do need to change links that we're using in the rotator, just complete that form again. And maybe in the area where it says share your dreams and goals, go, I just need to update the links. Just let me know what it is and away we go for now. Right now that part's still jury rigged, you know, duct tape bailing wire because we're setting all this up. I also set up a personalized advertising URL. I did make it HTTPS. And I wanna walk through this with you real quick because it shows you my promotional process right now. Now, obviously over, you know, like you know, and a lot of people on the team know, over the last couple decades, most of my money has been made promoting different programs, different affiliate products, by creating content. We do keyword read, we go, what do we have for sale? Who's the person most likely to have an interest in that? We do keyword research to discover what words and phrases they're actually searching for when they're searching for a solution that our product, service, our business opportunity can solve. We, we produce content and then we do it based on that keyword set, so the keyword list literally drives our content production. It tells us what we're creating the content about to attract that person most likely to buy what we're selling, right? Historically, for me, that's always been blogging. And then we would do SEO to get backlinks to our blog posts in order to get them to rank top 10 on Google, Bing, and Yahoo. For me, that's always worked. I'll prob probably always continue to do that. But it's a very long term, it, it takes time, especially if you set up a brand new blog and start blogging. It just takes time for that blog to gain authority, get enough SEO to start ranking and driving traffic. So it's a powerful long term approach, but doesn't do anything for short term results. For short term, video marketing is much, much more powerful for a couple reasons. One, it's far easier, in my opinion, to write a script for a keyword driven script for video, produce a video, publish it, do the SEO. We can get video to rank 10 times faster than we can get a blog post to ever rank. The reason being is YouTube already has authority, right? So the idea here is we create a lot of videos. I do the SEO for you as long as you're gold or higher. We set you up and away we go. We've talked about that before, review some of the stuff. But then we also wanna move, if we have an advertising budget, the fastest, easiest way is just start driving business opportunity seeker traffic into your funnel. It doesn't really matter. Once the funnel is set up, your number one priority, literally 80, 85% of your time, effort, and budget should be getting your offer, your funnel, your page, your link in front of an ever-increasing audience. That's your number one goal. 
So once I plugged in and I got my system completely 100% congruent with Frank's funnel, I just started removing all the stuff I did in the beginning. Delete, 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 delete. We're sending them all into one place. So then I set up my personal advertising URL. You know, my pure profit systems, that's going to be primarily for organic. For me, it'll be primarily video. Video and my personal organic like Facebook right now. Facebook posts, things like that. Once I create my own system, then I'll, ha I'll put that on an entirely another domain. And we'll have two things going and we'll test them out against each other. For advertising, I'm going to currently put them all into Frank's funnel. And this is my current advertising routine right now. I created a subdomain for List Joe, which is a safe list. If you're not familiar with safe list, usually you can join for free. And the whole idea is you can send an email out to the member, the other members of the safe list who are comprised primarily of people who are trying to promote something. Their affiliate program, uh, MLM, they're trying to sell something, otherwise they they wouldn't be participating in the, in the safe list, right? They're trying to get leads, traffic, and sales, just like me, just like you. So they're that person. So something like PLS may be of interest to them. So I've quietly been using safe list for years and years and years. I mean, way back from the beginning. And over the years, they have lost effectiveness, but they're so inexpensive and so easy to use. I've just never stopped using them. Um, and I'll show you here in a minute. I know this video is getting a little bit longer, but I'm just kind of just showing you what I think about and why as I build my infrastructure to build this into a million dollar a year income. Well, List Joe is it's uh, free to join, and I think you can mail out to a thousand of their members absolutely free every five or six days. Mm -hmm. If you want to upgrade, it's one ninety seven a year. The year they might have different options. I'm not real sure. And then you can email 8,300 people every third day. This is the level I'm at. And it's literally on my schedule. Every third day, a little reminder pops up on my computer. It's time to go mail. And I immediately follow the reminder's advice. I go write an email. And now I set up the links where every time I promote, doesn't matter what the email is going to say, it will be from List Joe. It'll all be pushed to this URL so I can track the effectiveness over a year and go, did it make me more than $197 in either the number of leads it created, signups, or sales? If we're not measuring it, how can we improve it? Or next year when it comes up for renewal, how do I know if it contributed profitably or if it's just a drain, just another expense that isn't contributing. How would I know if we're not tracking it? So I set up a, a domain, a subdomain, and we will track it from this point forward now that we're using a new funnel. Viral URL, same thing. This is an advertising source for me. It's again free. You can join for free and send out five, you know, say I'm guessing a thousand emails every few days to all the members of their team. It's another safe list. Again, $197 to upgrade, and then you can send out uh, 5,000 emails every third day. Um, MLM leads is um, where you're buying traffic. Uh, there's been a lot of recommendations from the Official Power Lead System Group. Uh, I know uh, my referrer, Frank Calabro Jr., used them as well. So I set up, uh, I actually have $113 or $118 monthly auto ship set up with them right now. That sends 115 clicks. My early results were, uh, they I got like 40 or 50 leads from the first round. And I'm not real clear about signups. I think I got one that never made it past their seven day trial period. And then I, I use another system called IBO Toolbox which has video distribution, which is primarily what I use it for. It does cost $20 a month. 
but they have a function up there and I can show you later where any video you put up on YouTube, you can share with the, 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 the community of this I, uh, IBO toolbox. And we actually get quite a few video views. And of course they have links where they can go learn more about the program. So to me, this is a, the only reason I really do this particular program is for that extra video distribution. It's getting my YouTube videos in front of the right audience that might have an interest in anything related to making money online. They also, as part of this $19 a month, you get like, uh, I'm kind of guessing here, but let's say 100,000 banner impressions. Now, I have got leads off these, so that works. So I set it actually set up two subdomains for these. One for any video I share, this would be the link that I'm gonna put for them to get more information. And on the banners, I will use this link. So I can make a distinction and, you know, three months, six months down the road go, is this $20 a month, $20 a month well spent? Is it making us money? or is it an expense we can eliminate? Again, we can't make that determination if we don't track and measure everything. By attaching all of these sources to subdomains, the tracking is made very, very easy for us. And then I will also, as I do solo ads from different vendors, I'll create a new subdomain, subdomain literally for every ad and keep track of that. So that's what I've done. We've pretty much just fleshed it out, got everything organized for the next 30, 60 days of majorly pushing paid traffic now. Uh, we'll start ramping up the video marketing. As I said, any new upgrades that come in, 20% uh, will automatically be bought and paid for by me out of my pocket to promote your business absolutely free. 20% of all upgrades immediately go to promoting the team rotator and your links there. If you've upgraded, your additional links have been added if you've completed the contact form and, so, and gave me your links, obviously. And 30% of all upgrades, um, I'm gonna personally spend to or reinvest to grow my own personal links which again have all been sent over to Frank. So that was kind of a long video, kind of a long update, but I really want to just share a little bit of my thinking where we're going with this. This is literally how I'm setting up my business structure. And that's really what we've done here over the last 30 days. And I want to applaud you guys for the patience and encouragement along the way. But that's what we're doing. I hope you're think that this has got you thinking and planning big picture, I mean, big picture. When you're actually going through Frank's funnel, and I encourage you to watch the videos, click the buttons and watch those videos. Even if you've seen the compensation plan three times, watch it again, become familiar, go, why would he do that? And I mean, really kind of start picking this apart. You know, when I flush this out, you know, this is what I see when I flush this out. Take a look at this. This is Frank's system right now with uh, one step left out. He's got one more step in here, which is really a repeat of the sign up step. So he's actually got another step in here. And then on some of these pages, like if we go to this Wednesday night hangout, these aren't really custom to Frank, even though they're in his funnel but they are custom, they're a company provided page that anybody can do. And again, look at all the cool links here. We got frequently asked training or frequently asked questions, Thursday night training, Wednesday hangouts, free trial. What's cool? I'm not sure what cool is, so I'm gonna have to go watch that. Well, that's our live Wednesdays, right? We have uh, the free lead system, we have the compensation plan. So just by sending people over to this live hangout, they have links to everything. Do you know that? Are you familiar with that? See, you want to really become familiar with your, with your business. But when I look at what these 
leaders have put together and what the company has put together, you can see that Frank literally built an entire ecosystem, his own for whatever wealth system on top of the Power Lead System platform. So Power Lead System really, in a very real sense, has just become the payment processor for Frank. He's not really selling Power Lead System. He's selling the functionality of Power Lead System, but he's selling the forever wealth system and his model of making 180,000 last year just from PLS, not counting the hundreds and hundreds of thousands he made on other stuff. Okay, so let's talk real briefly about Michael Price's Roadmap to Riches book. If you actually downloaded that book and read it, which tells you everything you need to know about power lead system, lead lightning, free lead system, how it all hooks together, how everything works, literally all within the first two chapters. Then he tells you how to take the company stuff and promote it and do all of that and build it up to $100,000 a year. And then how do you go for the big buck? Or I think his first one is, a thousand dollars in 90 days then how do we take and leverage that to a hundred thousand in the next 12 months what he teaches in that hundred in the from the thousand a month to a hundred thousand a year section is he teaches that's when you actually start going after people you know are network mark they're in network marketing or they promote you know some kind of team organization and you show them how PLS can be a replicated system for their team to start producing more results. Now think, think about that bigger picture here. We spent the first 30 days using company provided material just like 95% of every network marketer on this planet. What they use is whatever company provided material the company gives them, right? So the majority, the vast majority of people promoting any MLM out there are promoting the worst pages they could possibly ever promote. One, because the company needs to, to do company stuff. So their videos might not convert all that well. You know, even if they call it their, their their site meant to convert, it doesn't convert that well. Or even if it does, we talked again about billboard blindness. Too many people are promoting it. Too many people have seen it. So we are leaving a lot of money on the table if we promote those company pages. They're leaving a fortune on the table if they are doing it as well. We know 95% of them are. So let's say in your sphere of influence, you know a couple of people are building out pretty good businesses in whatever network marketing company that they're in. And you start thinking about that. You start looking at their system, not necessarily to join their system, but what, what do they got going on? They're producing results, but the majority of their team aren't. Why? Because they don't have a cohesive system that their entire team can use to help their team replicate their results. You know, they did this whole personal branding thing on their own because that's what leaders do. That's what Frank does. That's what I'm getting ready to go do. That's what leaders do. You take control and own your own business. In a very real sense, you mind your business. That sounds kind of funny, but in a very real sense, you mind your business by mind your business, right? In the meanwhile, obviously plug into what's working. But the idea then is you go say, okay, this person has a team of 24, 36, 100 people. Let me go spend a couple days and flesh out a system, I think, based on them, their, their thing, you know, their MLM, their offers, their health and wellness deal, or whatever. You go build out a funnel that they could use for their team, kind of generic, kind of non-branded, kind of quick off the hip. And then you start approaching everybody 
all the leaders in that network marketing thing go, hey, we got this plug and play funnel for it for you. All you got to do is go sign up as an affiliate. I'll give you the funnel code. Bloop! Your whole team has this funnel branded to you. They're going to start producing results. And see, now what we're doing is we're purposely targeting people with teams so that we can sign them up in bunches like grapes. You know, we put the work up front to go target that person, pre-build out a solution, and then go present it to them. Nah, I got my own thing going. Okay, fine. Go present it to somebody else in that same, promoting that same company. Another leader, another leader, until we get the leader that adopts it and go, cool. And then we go set up another funnel based on that model, right? It's now a master template, just like we do on video, but we create a master template and we go pick on another company or another way to promote another deal. And we start going after the leaders that have teams. And that's when your business will explode. So lots of stuff to think about. The potential, the profit potential we have our hands on is literally unlimited in every way, shape or form, except the limitation we put on it ourselves in our own mind. Spend some time and mind your business. Be blessed. Great marketing. We'll chat later.